So I just got this and I'm going to show you how to install it, set it up, and I will start with the unboxing. So let's pop it out, see all the things it comes with. Let's take out the instructions, which are at the top. Here is the first box, which is the power cord. There we go. So it comes with the power cord, just a black box, a little Phillips screwdriver, which is handy. Then in here is, okay, these are the pieces to actually assemble it. Here's the little connector trays. Oh, here's the remote piece. This is cool. So this one is the new model, which is all black. I actually have multiple of the old models, which are silver. So it's really cool to see that the remote and everything matches on the new one. All right, so let's take out the next one, which is the foam. Then you have this one, which is, should be the lighting piece, the LED strip. Oh no, this is the actual connector piece, it's cool. All right, so they're all this nice matte black, which is really, actually really pretty. So it's this here, and then they have the silver pieces. I'll show you how that works in a moment. Oh, there's the lining strip. So here's the lining strip in this bag. So we'll be setting that up. Let's see how to open that. All right, rip that open. All right, so here's the light itself. Very cool. Actually, I'm using in the background one of these in silver. So, this is perfect. This new model has a floor um, light too on it, which is really cool. The old one does not have that. You didn't know I'm a big fan of these, I'm multiple. Alright, so here's the base. Let's pull out this container. Wow, that looks so nice. It's all black with this rubber bomb. Wow, they've done a really nice upgrade to the old lamp. So I'm super excited for this one. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is assemble this. So you're gonna pull these halfway out. Let me show you kind of how this works. This is the middle one because it's two open sides. I'm gonna slide this in and then there are two screw holes on the inside. So you have to find those. You're gonna grab your little screwdriver and you're going to take the tiny little screws and they're tiny so just be super careful when you open them you don't lose them so you probably want to assemble them in a place where you're not going to lose them or you could take this piece of foam it's probably a good idea and scissors cut them open and just dump them into the foam and that way you won't lose them because they're tucked in the foam there and then i'm just going to grab a couple of screws and I'm going to insert them here. And then I'm just basically going to be screwing them into the tracks, just like this, to get these connector pieces together. And you probably want to use the screwdriver they provided because it fits the screw heads really well and power tools might strip out the aluminum and once it's stripped out, you're basically done. So I would highly suggest just taking your time and then using the screwdriver that they sent. Just gonna go tight, you don't need to go over tight. Um, it's not like a really heavy duty item where you're gonna have a lot of torque on it sideways. It's just gonna sit in place once you assemble it. So the same thing again, you're gonna find the screw holes. I find sometimes it helps just to pull the track out a little bit and find them and slide back in. We're gonna do the same thing. Two screws. I'll speed this process up now that you kind of know what to do, but this is what it looks like. And we'll jump ahead until when I'm done. Once it's all screwed together, it'll look like this, where it screws to the base. And then um, I actually end up with two extra screws. I'm just checking everything's screwed in, so it's just extra pieces. So that's just one thing to note. So you're gonna lay this out like this. And then I usually like to start at the top. And I'm gonna press it in. And you're just gonna press at the top, slide it up as far as you can. You're just gonna work your way down, popping it into place, all the way down. Yep, just make sure it's pressed in fully and there's no bumps. So I usually just kind of work my way down from the top, press.
press it in all the way. It just pops into place. There are little grooves on the side. You want to make sure that the connector sides at the bottom to match up with our connector. And of course, make sure the screws are fully tight before you do this, because once you put this in, you don't have to take it back out. So you just keep working your way down all the way. And when I get close to the end, one thing I do is I usually like pop this up and then I'm going to connect it. There's a notch on the connector you're going to put it into. And there's arrows to make it helpful. So you just line up the arrows, push it together. And then I usually try to push this connector in to the base a little bit. Might have to pull this up slightly just so you have a little more room to work. And then I just try to push that down. That way I can run this as far down as possible. There we go. So and then what I do is I start right here, kind of push it in place. Then once I get in where I want it to sit, then I start working my way up. Want them kind of straight there. There we go. And then that's fully assembled. And then the next piece is you have this remote. So you just pull the tab out. And then you have this magnetic piece that just holds the remote, which is really handy. You could do it either way. Um, I usually just clip it onto the base so it's right here in case I need it. And then I just stick the remote onto it. Can't actually pop this up on the desk, but just like that. And let me plug it and show you what it looks like. So now it's all put together and you can use the remote. You could change the color, turn it on and off, just like that. And then the nice thing with this model is the base lights up too. So it's really cool. So there you go, there's light.